Dean Potter didn't much care what ordinary people thought, criticized for flying a wingsuit with his dog, a blue healer called Whisper. He would never put his dog at risk, argued Potter, but his own safety, a different matter. Potter was a pioneer. He pushed the boundaries of mountain sports, where death is ever present. But, reasoned Potter, getting close to death made him feel more alive. It's not as if I'm going around, like I'm not a dark person, I'm not thinking about death all the time, but it is there for me. But I really believe it's no different than any other person out there, that like every day, every moment, our lives are at stake. Um, with me, it's very easy to see. I fall off a cliff and would die. But, you know, if life and death is, is right there for all of us. It's the most common thing um, we all share. But even fellow wingsuit pilots have misgivings about the likes of Potter pushing things quite so close to the edge. Some are giving it up entirely. Potter and his close friend, Sean Stanley Leary, who climbed together in Yosemite, are just two of many who've recently died flying wingsuits. You know, there's been almost 50 people died flying wingsuits off cliffs in the last 18 months. Um, and a couple of them were, were close friends of mine. So, yes, you know, the uh, uh, it's unjustifiable danger, basically. The, for me now at this stage in my life, having done quite a bit of this sort of stuff and now with a young daughter, there's there's just too much carnage going on. It's like a war zone. It's plain to see why there's zero margin for error, in particular proximity flying, where athletes soar as close as they can to the ground, or through features like holes in the rock. Why some sponsors have now abandoned a sport dubbed the most dangerous in the world, and why flying a wingsuit is banned in Yosemite, where Potter and a friend were killed on Saturday night. But it looks spectacular. And some say experienced pilots like Potter, contrary to appearances, don't take risks. Every jump, every climb, every high line is carefully planned and executed. Just when things go wrong, there are no second chances.